Hi, yeah, my name is Carla Vairamuthi and um, I'm from the University of South Florida and also the Science Director of the Switch Project. Carla, what do you think will be the legacy of Switch? I think one of the major contributions of the Switch Project has really been the way in which we engaged with stakeholders. It was a very tricky project for us because we were trying to make it as demand driven as possible. So what we tried to do is we worked with stakeholders to try and identify what the major issues uh, would be for their cities and on the basis of those discussions we tried to develop a research program and the, the idea behind that was that the research that we do would then really have an impact and be taken up by the city and implemented, which has often been a bottleneck in relation to research. So within SWITCH, working with IRC, we, we instigated a highly innovative process called the Learning Alliance process. And this process was really um, quite scientific in its approach and we identified who were the relevant stakeholders, um, we went through a process of institutional mapping and stakeholder analysis. We then assembled these stakeholders together. We then had tools which enabled us to share with them what we felt the pressures in that city might be, what the implications of um, climate change, population development might be, what innovations could help them try and resolve some of these problems. And on that basis, we developed research. And for me, what has been extremely uh, satisfying about the project is that most of these cities really um, were very enthusiastic about supporting research activities that they thought would really have an impact for their cities, and that is very rare in a research project. Can you give us examples of uptake of the research in some of the cities? Yeah, I think um, if we look, for example, in Wuch, um, a major river restoration activity has been going on, ongoing, and a lot of the uh, innovations in terms of eco-hydrology that were developed as part of SWITCH are really being implemented in order to improve the, the quality of rivers um, in Wuch. If we look at Tel Aviv, um, it was really through the engagement of SWITCH that the Tel Aviv city actually re-looked at their strategic plan and revisited it and redeveloped it, putting water more as a central focus of that strategic plan. Um, in other cities there have been applications of some of the innovation, for example in Belo Horizonte, where a lot of research was done on sustainable urban drainage. Those sustainable urban drainage technologies were demonstrated in the field and now through new projects they'll be actually implemented within the city. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay.